Hi everyone. In today's video, I thought I would share with you how I painted the brickwork in this little house painting. Um, I only used a few simple supplies uh, and it's a really fun technique. So let's get started. Uh, so I've got a little house here that I've drawn and I'm going to be adding the brickwork to the front face here. So what I've done is I've painted uh, the background layer with a very light wash of brown just so that I didn't have to deal with white paper. And this will be uh, the mortar that shows up in between our bricks. I have on my palette a couple of different brick colors. Um, I've just made them by mixing brown with uh, burnt sienna to get a couple of different shades. You can use whatever brick colors you want. You can have them be dark or light, doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to be using this small uh, little flat shader brush. It's about an eighth of an inch wide. This is a small painting, so we need a little brush. If you don't have a little flat shader like this, you can always use a number two round. Uh, they're about the same size. Um, I like the flat brush because it will give me nice squared edges for my bricks. But again, not necessary. You can use just a regular round brush. I'm going to pick up some of my color that I have here and I'm going to start with the kind of medium tone of brick color. And then I'm just going to make some little, make some little lines, trying to be very careful. Uh, keep my lines straight and somewhat evenly spaced. And now I'm just going to go in and pick up some of that darker brown, add some of the darker brown. And what I do is I don't go all the way across. Um, I get started. And then since I have my darker color here, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a few darker colored bricks. And then I'm going to pick up some of my lighter color. And if some of the lines touch, that's okay. Um, try and alternate your bricks so that they don't all show up as the same, uh, you know, lined up the same. Kind of go back and forth. You can have some be big, some be small. Um, back and forth. And eventually you get all the way across. I'm trying to keep the same amount of pressure on my brush all the way through so that I don't end up with um, thick and thin bricks. Don't want that. That wouldn't be any good. They'd look a little funny. Um, and as I said, if some of them touch, it's no big deal. The mortar is just closer together. When you paint in between windows like I am, a lot of times you don't get a full brick. Um, that's okay. If your brush starts to show the same color all the way across, give your brush a little, a little wash so that way you can have a distinct color. Um, you may find it easier to turn your paper um, and keep your hands straight. Uh, you can definitely do that. I'm not doing that because I think it would be harder for you to see what I'm doing and I don't want to make it harder for you. This is just a fun little sketch of a house so you don't have to be too precise. Stagger your lines, try and work around pieces that you have. Um, this is a little pen and ink drawing that I did. All right, so I have my, my bricks and they are pretty much done. I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to kind of tie this all together and show you what I do. So, um, be back in a minute. So now that my brick work is dry, um, I have some extra mortar showing. So um, rather than try and go back and make my bricks bigger, what I like to do when this happens is I like to take my bigger brush. So this is a number eight round. Um, and I like
like to take uh, the middle color that I use and add some water to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over my bricks with just a nice wash and that will help uh, fill in some of the spaces and it'll kind of tie it all together a little bit better. Now um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this until this is thoroughly dry. So um, if you're impatient and you don't want to wait for it to dry naturally, you can uh, use a hair dryer on a low setting and that will dry it. But um, make sure that before you get started, your paper is uh, room temperature so it's not still warm from the hot air being blown over it. And then get yourself a good puddle of paint and your brush and you're going to go over it. Now, uh, this time I am going to turn my paper so that I have a little more control because I really don't want to get paint over my nice white uh, window and door trim. So now I'm just going to go over it very quickly and I'm brushing very lightly. I'm not I'm trying not to move the paint that's underneath this wash. And this technique in watercolor is called glazing because you're putting a very thin watery layer of paint over uh, an existing layer. Um, and some of the paint underneath may shift and, and move a little bit and, and that's okay. Um, it'll just spread out a little bit more. Um, and you can tidy up the edges a little bit if you'd like if you didn't get close enough. Um, so there you have it. This is how um, I paint brick. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Um, if you have any comments about uh, videos you'd like to see me do in the future, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will post a link to the supplies that I use, including um, some options for this little tiny shader brush if you're interested in uh, getting it. So thank you and see you next time.